we see a vast amount, lots of people with arthritis. And it's one of those things that's on the increase in America because of the foods that people are eating and the chemicals that are in foods. And osteoporosis or arthritis as a whole can occur from excessive dairies, much more calcium from the vegetarian kingdom than you do from dairy products. And you know, if you ever looked at a cow, it will nurse the calf, and at some point, then it actually pushes the calf away. And you know, you'll find mothers and people 15, 60 years old drinking milk. It has no place in our diet, for the most part. Excessive high protein foods, or as I had said originally, whole wheat products, uh, although we consider them to be very good because they're the B complex, uh, uh, is 85% of the wrong acid. And then as we continue to eat whole wheat pro products, it proliferates into muscles and joints and causes arthritic changes. Most certainly a proper menu for that blood type and for that certain weaknesses within that body, cleansing out the system, and then giving those herbs and botanicals which will combat the arthritis are very important. And then whether it's uh, rheumatoid arthritis or arth osteoarthritis uh, begins to change. All our success is dependent upon not the office. We give each and every patient 100% of our knowledge. If you do the program, if you're patient, then the body has to change because you're working with nature. And nature needs to give you everything you want when you've done everything you've had to do. Not a moment before, not a moment later. So you need to become very uh, involved in your treatments, very responsible in the way you eat.